Hey guys, welcome back to more Diablo 3. We're just entering the Royal Crypts here to find the Skeleton King. You can fish him off. Seriously, you still haven't killed that skeleton? You're pretty useless, actually. Open the gates. Leoric sword. Keep your distance from him. This burden is mine to bear. May death bring peace from your madness, Leoric. Traitors! Even in death, the armies of Condorus will still obey their king. Even if you will not. Oh, that's just the veil crystal. So. There is the yard to bring the warmth of life into my tomb. We shall put you down, Hellspawn. Oh, this pick up the pillars then. Not enough wrath. Yeah, I can kind of. That's two police down. I guess we'll kill a couple skeletons then. Since there's lots of skeletons around. They're so used to start doing anything. Maybe it's a nightmare difficulty, but he's just garbage. Not ready yet. There's 42 kills. Let's get the 50 kills, I'll be good. Is rewarded. 53 kills, two and, and a quarter times. Shield that through and unlock. I do want to kind of look at that. That was all of them. So we got probably a couple new abilities. Target monsters stunned, all of the creatures are knocked back. Nope, that's not what I'm interested in. Did this one get new? Yeah, possibly, but no. Instant Shadow Shield. Don't got Carve Smite, got another ability. That probably would make that a lot better. Injustice. Hurl Hammer just at your enemies. No. Stick with Slash. And provoke? Yes. For each enemy sexually taunted, you heal additional damage whoever, whenever striking your foes. I don't really need that, but I'm going to take it, I guess. Boss doesn't have anything. Yep. Yeah. yeah, that's fine. And probably don't got anything new. Nope. Well, that's fine, though. Oh, I was going to have something. Well, out of active attackers take extra thorns damage. No. Like, Divine Verdict is amazing. Like, blind them so they can't do damage, in addition to doing more damage. Like, that's just the absolute best. Ooh, there's quite a bit of gold in there, too. Another lecture. We have just arrived in Tristram. I must say, I'm a bit dismayed. This place is a backwater filled with serfs and an ancient broken down monastery. Hardly fit for the king of Condorus. I cannot fathom why Lazarus was so intent on this becoming our new seat of power. Oh, Lazarus had intentions even that far back. That's actually really interesting. I 
That's pretty cool to know that Lazarus already had intentions way back when they were even setting it up. Are you ever afraid in battle? No. I feel fear before and after the battle. Few could admit that so simply. That's actually something really good, exactly like you said. Opening up the crypt, and we should face the Skeleton King himself. You will never defeat me! <laughs> hmm. How are we to get you past now? You were defeated the moment you surrendered to madness. Oh, and I kept till the turn. That's no problem. Patience. Last one. A couple splashes of my spear, and he's dead. Another veil crystal, though. That's good. Getting quite a few of those. Perfect. Get my speed bonus. And here is Leoric the Skeleton King. We just need to put on the crown. I know this follow one talk to me. Well, we've got a second now. That is a moon, but he's, he has a back over him. That's a kind of equipped that other smash skill. Now, now he's not blinded. Not ready yet. So got additional attack speed. Just quickly do a first turn. Not yet. Oops, wrong direction. But then he'll actually focus on the right character. But yeah, boss, no problem. Blind him. Not ready yet. He even got massive. Oops. Oh no, we did see him. It's weird, I missed him though. Then I get a stun on him. Immediately falling. Just cleared out his minions. Super easily. Not even had to use a potion or anything. What if anybody else finds this game super easy if it's just me? Must not be just me, but could be, I guess. Patience. If we blind them, because it depends what skill you pick. If you pick that, that crappy holy chain ability, you might think the game is really Not hard. Yet. I just kind of I guess I just tend to use the best abilities, so. Not ready yet. Max him out. So he's over half dead. The thing I found interesting about Titan Quest is they actually made you dodge and stuff. Some bosses you couldn't just stand here and fight them and you have to avoid their patterns and stuff. Because uh, no matter how strong you were, it's like a boulder would fall from the sky or something. It actually forced you to... There's still 40 kills. Just keep smashing at him. Again, this is expert difficulty. It's the hardest difficulty you can get on your first playthrough. Patience. There you go, I see. Well, I used the potion there. I don't think I need to, but.
flying away guys, so we can do a little bit of damage. Oh, now he's getting some different abilities, I guess. So it's my 51, and that should include the XP for the Skeleton King. So, 11,227. 5,000 gold received. So we got some actually unidentified stuff. The Shatarum High Priests in Korast proclaimed Leoric King of Kondurus many years ago. He ruled well until Diablo's influence drove him mad, and the loyal knight Lak Danon was forced to slay him. Afterward, Diablo himself raised Leoric from the dead as the Skeleton King, until the monarch's son, Aiden, vanquished him. The crater, at last. So what would we find here? At the star itself. The falling star was a man. Interesting. Yes. I am. I... It was. I... I remember falling. Through several floors at least. I am not your enemy. I think. Yes, I... I believe I have come with a warning. The darkness... The darkness is coming. I must... I don't remember. Be calm and come with me. You better be taking him to Decker Kane. Because I don't trust no stranger. So, monsters trust you and train randomly change after every... Well, uh, every level. The fallen star was a man. Only a man. I begin to wonder if his fall is related to my crusade. I will take him to the old scholar. He may know. He may. Let's talk to Deckard Kane and see if we can find out about the stranger. Kane. Meet the Falling Star. No man could survive such a thing. Who are you? What are you? A warrior, I think. I came bearing grave news, but I cannot remember. Your message might be all that can save us from impending doom. Wear shoulders. For life, regeneration, resource cost. Hmm. I'd like to actually like to re-roll those shoulders. I have some new items that I'm certain you will love. So um, we're gonna go into craft. Guessing we can't I can't re-roll them here. Need to be level five. Cause I'm just not happy with this stuff on it. Because it re-rolls. New random property. So. Link two. I should be happy with that. That says die on it. Just because I'm curious. That would make... It could turn into... You can turn it into a sword or a dagger? That's really weird. Hmm. But then it costs 10,000 after this, so I'm just gonna save my gold for now. Oh, what does this temper one say? Oh, because he's a new skill. Doing damage, studying. Okay, well, if you're gonna stun stuff, skill. you may as well do that. Still don't have any amulets. Well, first, let's head to the Book of Cain. 
You can identify it by right clicking in the, in the inventory. You can also identify all the items in the Book of Cain. Legendary Ring. This is Lyric Signet. This is like one of the best rings in the game. Or not best, but it has 22% increased experience. It's just amazing. So, well, I know about the roll. Oh, that's control. So I can have up to 30. So what would I need to re-roll this ring? Did you see that stranger? I think I have a shield I can, you can use, but... Because re-rolling seems to be the best. 11. <laughs> oh my god, that's high. We already have only have three. Just because I'm curious though, what can I try to Seems unwise. Cannot track mark. Okay. Oops. And just because I'm curious. Ten thousand. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna turn it into a club. Oops. Oh yeah, I still have it. Oh, that's interesting all the things you can have. I'm sorry, but no. Oops, I didn't want to enchant I wanted to talk modify. Just for curious. Can't talk modify a belt? Why not? Boots? Can make them look cooler, but don't think I'm keeping these boots for that long, so. So this Chance of summoning a, a ghostly champion when attacking. So it's, it's a lot better. It doesn't give bonus experience, but it does a lot more damage. So sometimes, sometimes you can't get bonus experience. It's a legendary axe. We're gonna go with it. So I'm guessing this is probably their best bet. So. Oops. Just the thing. And I'm gonna equip these for our shoulders. They increase quite a bit of stuff. And other than that, I think we're pretty much at Hmm. Yeah. Increase my recovery by seventy seven percent. We're gonna do that. Hmm. Yeah, that is better as well. Hmm. Maybe keep those two rings. They're probably better than the ones you have. Oh, amulets. I like you. You know the true quality of my wares, unlike some people. So you don't have any rings? The attacks may be slowing down. But this town is dead. I want to get some amulets. Hey, sure, I may do business with some unsavory types, but I pass the savings on to you. Mm -hmm. Nah. Never mind, those amulets aren't worth it. So. So, anyway, guys, I think I'm just going to salvage all these items. We'll be back in the next one for more Diablo 3. Thanks guys. Later.